Several Georgia state leaders, including the governor, and are now demanding a deeper investigation into the shooting of a Glenn County man. Cell phone video shows 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery out jogging when two men stopped him, wrestled with him, and shot him. Well, Governor Brian Kemp tweeted yesterday that the Georgia Bureau of Investigation stands ready to help with that investigation into Arbery's death. Georgia's Attorney General Christopher Carr says he has seen that video and that he is deeply concerned and expects, expects swift justice in the case. The district attorney overseeing that case says he plans to present it to a grand jury soon, something Arbery's family and their lawyer have been asking for for months. So let's turn things over right now to my co-anchor WJCL's Ashley Garrett for a breakdown of that case. Georgia state leaders are not the only ones making their voices heard when it comes to the shooting death of 25 year old Ahmad Arbery. Tuesday, more than 100 protesters marched in Brunswick where the unarmed black victim was chased and later gunned down by two white men. Well, newly released cell phone video has surfaced from the February 23rd incident. It shows two white men, former police officer Gregory McMichael and the former officer's son, Travis, chasing Arbery, who was just jogging before he was shot and killed. When authorities questioned why McMichael and his son pursued Arbery in the first place, they told police they thought Arbery looked like the suspect in a series of break-ins. Well, right now, those two, the father and son, are not facing any charges. On April 28th, the Glenn County Police Department reported it continues to gather and provide information to the district attorney's office that the case has been assigned to. Tuesday, the Glenn County Sheriff was at the protest calling for action into the death of Arbery. Am I upset that it has taken this long for a verdict to, to uh, justice part to come? As the sheriff, I'm upset. Thank you. It shouldn't have taken that long. As if that was my son, I'd be upset. I can only imagine what the mother and dad is going through. Right. I can only imagine, and y'all can't imagine what they're going through. Right. Arbery's family is also calling for justice, saying they expect action this week. Ashley Garrett, WJCL 22 News.